when you use the starter Redwood application template, one thing that you don't have in the shell page is handling of notification. So if, for example, you'll go and add a button to your page and in this button you'll use our fire notification action and provide specific values, you would notice that when you press the button, this message is not going to show up by default. So the nice thing is that you can now handle and control how messages are going to be shown. And I'm going to show you one approach to do this. So first of all, just to show you, if we go into live mode, press the button, there's no notification showing up. So let's go over and modify our shell page to handle notifications. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add a component to show the messages. I'm going to use the messages jet component up here. Now, if you go to the data, you would see the structure that we expect for a message where there's severity, summary, and detail um, properties for the message. So let's define a new type in our shell page. We'll call this type the message type. It's going to be an object. And we're going to add fields for each one of the variables or the attributes we saw before. We would also add an ID field here, an ID attribute. So we'll add a summary. We'll add the detail and we'll add the severity. Each one of them is a string variable. All right, so we have the type. Now we can create a variable of this type. Um, actually, what we want is because we might want to show multiple messages, we're going to use an array data provider. Um, and this array data provider is going to be based on this message type. So each um, message there is going to have that structure. And we'll use the ID field as the key attribute. All right, so now that we have the ADP, let's add an event listener to handle what happens when a notification is fired. So we'll use the VB notification uh, event, and we'll define a new action chain at the page level for handling the messages. Let's go over, and in this area, you're going to see you get an event parameter. So we're going to use an assign variable to take the values that we get from this event. And um, if you expand it on the left side, you'll see the various attributes. And we're going to populate them into a new action chain variable. Okay. So this would be our current message. It's going to be of the type that we defined, message type. So this is going to hold temporarily the value of the current message that was fired up. We'll take the key and map it to the ID. We'll take the summary and map it to the summary. The type can go into the severity and the message is going to go into the detail. All right, so now we have the information inside the variable. We'll use a fire data provider event action to add this into our ADP. So the message ADP, we're going to use an add and inside here, we're going to drag and drop the current message into the data property of the add variable. So now we're ready to go back into the page designer for the shell page, where we have the message component, and we just need to make sure that it's based on this ADP that we have instead of the fixed value. So because the ADP is empty, we're not seeing anything. But if we go back to the page and press the button, we now see the message that we have in the show notification showing up. Let's modify our action and add another message. So we'll add another file notification. This time we're going to use a, an info message. So again, provide some summary, uh, some detail, and uh, switch the notification type in this case to info. All right, let's see how this now behaves. We'll clear the current message that we have. Click the button, and now we see the two messages, each one with its own display properties.